in our final presentation, we will talk about applying metrics to your action plan. Hopefully by now, you have gained some understanding of the different types of metrics that you can use for your OER program. And now we're going to talk about some ideas of how you can incorporate that into your action plan. So some things to think about. When you're developing your action plan and you're trying to decide what type of metrics you want to capture, you can answer these questions to help inform you. What does a successful OER program look like? And what type of data would tell you that? What values do you want your metrics to demonstrate? And what metrics would interest your stakeholders the most? And this can be any kind of stakeholders, including your supervisor, faculty, students, or even upper administration. So as you start your action plan, you can easily add your metrics to the evaluation and assessment piece. And in doing this, there might be some areas that you might want to think about. So for example, will some of your assessment pieces include the COOP framework? If so, that might be an easy way to determine what type of metrics you want to include it's likely that most people want to include a cost savings. So that's an easy metric to help with your assessment piece. Does your supervisor have other metrics in mind? And hopefully in your discussion with your supervisor, uh, you kind of talked a little bit about what a successful program might look like. And then another thing to think about is where this data will be shared and if you're required to share any data as part of a statewide initiative. If you are feeding your data into a statewide initiative, your data pieces may already be determined for you. That doesn't mean that you can't capture other data, but you may need to require, be required to capture certain pieces to begin with. As we have explored different types of metrics, I'm sure you feel a little overwhelmed. Some of these metrics require you to collaborate with other offices on campus. Um, some of these are going to take time to collect. So if you're unsure about what types of metrics to use, here are some places that you can look at. Revisit your OER crush and their data. What are they sharing and what are they collecting? Revisit your SMART goals. Your SMART goals can be a great place to determine what type of metrics you want to use to assess the program. Again, discuss with your supervisor or other stakeholders. And I've said this before because I think it's really key that you understand the expectations that they have. Chat with your cohort and cohort leader. We hope that this month the discussion will lead towards what types of metrics you can use. And this is a great place to find support. And then finally, you're not alone. This is something that every OER program struggles with and nothing is exactly perfect for any of our programs. But hopefully with some of these resources, you can fine tune the types of metrics that would work great for your institution. Thank you. And again, please let us know if you have any questions.